Hi all, Namrata here and you are watching Simulink Tutorial. So today we are going to discuss MBD Interview Questions Part 6. So let's start with today's video. So the first question is the difference between flowchart and the state diagram. So the difference between these two lies in how they execute at each time step. So if we take example of flowchart, it always enters at this default node at each time step and checks for conditions starting from here. Whereas if we take the example of state diagram at initialization, it will enter from this default state. But after that, it executes from where the execution was in last time step. So let's just say in previous sample, if the state one was active, it will check for outgoing transitions from this state in the next time sample and so on. So the difference is of how the execution occurs at each time step. So if we see the logic, the logic is just if input is greater than or equal to 3.5 output will be true. Else if input is less than or equal to minus 3.5 output will be false and same is for this chart and I have given same input that is sine wave of amplitude 5 to both the charts and if I simulate this both are giving same output so let's just have a look at the execution with the help of animation feature so if you go to display straight flow animation, you can choose the speed at which you want to see the animation. So lightning fast, fast, medium, slow or no animation. So if I simulate again, you can see how the execution for flowchart is. So it is always entering from this default node checking the condition if this condition or this condition is not satisfied it is taking this straight away path if this condition is true then it is taking this path and if this condition is false then it is coming here and if this condition is true it is following this path so the common thing here is is this node that is the execution is always entering from here. Now if we go to state diagram and simulate you will see that the execution will enter from default state but after that observe the execution. So at each time step, it is not taking this default path, but it is executing from where the execution was stopped in the last time step. So that's the difference that how it executes in each time step. So moving on to the next question that the number of ways in which you can implement if else or if else if else. So the first one we saw already here that you can use flowchart and implement if else or if else if else in this form that is the first condition that is if this condition is true then do this else if this condition is true then do this else do nothing that is maintain previous value. So this is how you can implement if else in flowchart that is the condition is in square bracket whereas the action to be taken is in the curly braces with semicolon. Then the other way is using a simple switch block. So if you see here I have used two switch blocks. So the top one is if this condition is satisfied then the output will be this else if this condition is true pass this as output else take the previous value 
so this is how you can implement if else if else using switch block the other way is using if action subsystem so use this if block provide your input then u2 and u3 are your threshold as we saw in previous examples also and here the number of inputs are 3 since one input variable and two threshold constant so if expression is if input is greater than or equal to u2 that is 3.5 and else if expression is u1 is less than or equal to u3 that is minus 3 and when this condition is satisfied what you want to do goes in this action subsystem so here I am passing straight away true here false and this one I am passing the previous output and since we want ultimately one output this three outputs are merged together and this is the final output so this is how you can implement if else if else using if action subsystem blocks so the input here is also the same that is sine wave of amplitude 5 and if I simulate this I am getting the same output here as well and there is one more way that is if I delete this if you don't know how to construct conditions and actions in the flow chart you can go to add pattern in chart and select the type of pattern you want to implement so decision if else pattern loops we have for while do while switch the number of cases in switch and also you can customize so for now we want to if else if else so i'm choosing this if else if because the else is do nothing for us so if else if so description is whatever you want to give so if else if check condition that is if condition input is greater than or equal to 3.5 action is output is equal to true else if condition is input is less than or equal to minus 3.5 and else action is out is equal to false if i click ok you can see here it created the if else if logic in the same format the way it was earlier so these all options you have to implement if else if else construct that is using switch flow diagram if action subsystem or use this pattern option in the chart if you don't know how to construct conditions and actions in flow chart so i hope you are clear about the questions that we discussed today and i hope these questions are helpful to you to prepare for interviews so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning